We're going to demonstrate one method of donning or putting on personal protective equipment similar to types that are currently being used in uh, Ebola treatment units in West Africa. The, the first step is the first pair of gloves. Following that, we place a impermeable coverall. The next step is a respirator and we mold it to our face. Now, in the suits, we've cut out holes for the thumbs so that when we are doffing or removing the personal protective equipment, we can take the outer layers off while still uh, maintaining the inner gloves. And those uh, should not have been uh, contaminated. Next, we have a head cover. Now I'm tucking in the head cover into the collar to minimize the amount of exposed skin around my neck. Following that, we use an apron. The apron is used in instances where a provider might be cleaning heavily soiled surfaces and to keep infectious fluids from directly uh, getting onto the coverall. The next step to cover my eyes, I have a face shield. Depending on the nature of the work that will be done, uh, there are either these heavier duty gloves during uh, transport of patients or cleaning up of um, heavily contaminated surfaces, or a second pair of, of gloves that will fit over the thumb hole that we cut out, over the sleeve. And that is the step in the uh, donning process for putting on personal protective equipment, modeling the practices that may be in place in West African Ebola treatment units.